da 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 this sounds like a very sentimental and emotional uh, film, which you sometimes will find, actually prominently pretty much, in the independent indie and maybe awards-winning market, which this film has been circulating in. This is, I believe, of uh, TIFF prominence, actually, Toronto and National Film Festival, to be specific. It's called Murmur. I don't know the casting here, but it's got an interesting poster. It's very grounded, uh, I would say, again, like it, just very earthly in its color palette. But again, it sounds very sentimental. This is what it says according to the IMDb synopsis. Of course, we'll watch the trailer in a minute, but just to give you an understanding of this film, this is what we're, we're talking about here. Donna has recently been convicted of driving while impaired and is ordered to perform community service at a local animal shelter. When an elderly dog is scheduled to be euthanized, it's really sad, Donna decides to take the dog home and quickly realizes his companionship can ease her loneliness. To fill the emptiness she feels, Donna begins to take home more than more, more and more animals, and she is soon in over her head. Well, maybe there's a bit of a comical approach to this, but, um, you know, man's best friend, that old ad is specifically with dogs. Um, that, that's really sad that I learned that the, the, the catalyst to that is that you have a, um, a, a, a shelter, I guess, that's not acting in a, in a hospitable and shelterly way towards uh, animals, which, you know, there was a headline about this very recently. I forget where it was, but I'm looking at this as, as September 2021. Anybody else see the story about the animal shelter? That I saw a couple YouTube videos highlighting this, just flicking through my, my feed. There was a photo, I remember one thumbnail I saw with a dog. It broke my heart, but apparently you, I, think, I thought it was in Australia. I might be wrong. I don't, I don't know. But there's a story that people, um, because we are in the era of COVID, I guess, and this, I believe this is relatively earlier on, and I get that there's a level of uncertainty, but that they killed animals because they were afraid of COVID transference. That that broke my heart when I heard about that. Um, very moving story. I mean, and, and well, you know, obviously for many reasons, but it just wasn't a good decision overall. And I, I get it. Again, there's a level of uncertainty. But that is inexcusable. I mean, I read about that and it's like, that, it's just, I couldn't even imagine that. It's just horrific. Um, just, just really sad. Um, but a story like that, you know, I mean, that's just what I brought to mind because that was a very recent example of just an, a clear animal mistreatment. Um, you know, hey, I get it. You know, protect people and... I get some. Uh, I don't know who would ever defend that, but some people will be like, "Well, you know, maybe there's uh, uh, there was fear in the situation." I get that there was a lot of fear at the time because we were very uncertain of a lot of stuff that we know now, and even then, we're still there's still so much confusion. But when you get to the point that you try to excuse or try to excuse killing animals under that, that 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 broke my heart. But in this case, you know that that breaks my heart too. Reading this, being like an animal shelter again, it's not acting in the capacity that they should. But you have a woman who says, you know, I'm lonely. And she's been obviously in a, a, a sad situation herself. Um, maybe one, of, again, of her, of her own making or perhaps a variety of factors. I'm not sure exactly. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll get a better sense from the trailer. But as far as like a deep awards pitch, um, that, that's very moving. And certainly an emotional story. But, I mean, I knew somebody actually very early on in my life who, um, she had dementia. And she had... A lot of pets. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if that was a move, I, I get probably maybe dementia played a role in the fact that she had so many animals in her house. But perhaps it was because she her um, it was just her. She was single and, and she was married for many years. Um, but me again, you know, maybe that's just out of a feeling of general loneliness. And for this woman, you know, she's been through a, a tough ordeal. So perhaps animals help give her that center in life. It's very moving. Um, I would imagine again for many people, maybe this is a relatable story. I mean, I don't know specifically if there's a if someone can relate on the grounds that they brought an animal in because of the threat of euthanization, or you know, put it another way, an unwarranted um, uh, killing. I mean, it's just horrific to think about. But again, like I said, I just I hear some modern sentiments from this too, and I'm like, because of recent headlines I saw as I brought up, and I'm just kind of like, man, it, it's just it's deep. But again, a very moving experience, and especially reading the synopsis. So I'm very interested to check out more from this film from a, from a, uh, a, a full presentation perspective. Let's go ahead and give a look to Murmur. Again, I, I, I'm really moved by that. But again, like the comedic aspect towards the end, possibly when you read that synopsis, like maybe again, it gets a bit overwhelming of more, you know, like, well, I, I maybe took off a bit more of an action, but you're, you're kind of now an animal caretaker. 
I mean, if you're protecting these animals for a better future, for you know, uh, better days, there's an advantage. I get it might be overwhelming, but hey, I mean, you saved some animal lives. That's that's incredible in that in that aspect. And, and really, in a way, it's a, I guess maybe it's an act of redemption as well. Being like, well, you know, maybe in some ways, you know, that an individual is so grieved by mistakes that they've made that's like, you know, there's a feeling that I need to go and attain. I'm not Catholic, but maybe the analogy to use like a, a, a penance, right? That there's there's an injustice that's not uh, uh, fulfilled, essentially, or or, 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 or uh, was was redeemed, I would think. But you know, as a Christian, I would believe you know we get that free repentance stuff like that. But I get the, I, I still hey hey I completely understand that feeling of like you make a mistake and it's like you want to you want to self correct essentially. And I do you know I, in many ways I actually live my life that way. So I, I can completely relate to that level. Again, very relatable project. I'm sure probably it will get lot if it hasn't already. Well, it did get prominent so through TIFF. I would imagine it's probably spoke to many people if they haven't, if they even know about it. Let's take a look at those, this trailer. I, I'm very moved by that story. We're gonna watch this first. Again, it's the TIFF trailer, and we're gonna talk about it more. My condensed review, so I'm watching the video together. Okay, breaks my heart, uh, but in a good way. Beautiful story. Okay, let's take a look. It's a short trailer, by the way, in about under a minute. <sighs> Hello. Melissa? Hi. Hi, it's Donna. Is Julia there, please? No, she's not here. Oh, well, do you know if she'll be back soon? Donna, she's not here. You should leave. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're not my daughter, and I'd like her to phone me, please. Can you make sure she phones her mother? I think you should leave her alone. I'm hanging up now. Can you give her a message that her mom wants to talk? A lot of emotional stuff going on. Seems uh, family dynamic. Wow, that's a... That, that is a very, uh, I would say, scaled-down trailer. Not I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's just a different look than at least what that synopsis depicts. The synopsis, of course, now the trailer does feature a dog. So that is very true to the synopsis. But it does feel... It does feel a little more limited. You know, in terms of its scale. But it's still, if you read that synopsis, it is deeply moving. And I can see some maybe the implications of perhaps other emotions going in, right? Now, I don't know how, exactly how the the uh, the driving while impaired charge factors in. We'll see that and maybe the context to that situation. But family trouble, I mean, that can certainly be done. But this woman, it seems, in many ways, is aware of it. They, they need, or she needs a center. Um, and the dog might give her that, that emotional balance very moving um and probably i'm sure this will speak to the emotions of many people i mean especially since you know how many animal lovers are out there and they're gonna be like oh my gosh there's dogs you know but again with, with the component of this being such a sentimental project it melts your heart <laughs> one of your guys's thoughts um with murmur i think it's very deep i really do i think that hopefully enough people know about this is why i like looking at independent films and some awards pictures these you get an opportunity to look at films that people don't talk about and that might be quite good and just no one knows about them. I now know about Murmur, and probably you do too now. I hope I, I hope there's a way to easily watch it. I would imagine probably there is. I'll have to look into it, but I want to see it. I do. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to look at stuff with like and subscribing and sharing that bell until we get to watch more from... Um, well, I don't know if we're going to get another Murmur trailer. It's been out for, I think, a little while. It's been on my list for some time. I, I keep meaning to catch up on it. I just never got around to it until today. There'll probably be another awards for them. I'm sure we'll be looking in the future. It'll probably be equal in terms of, you know, the sentiment to it. But whatever we get to watch go next for the first time, I'll see you guys then for now. Thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to your fellow man. God bless. And peace.